We have uh, with us tonight uh, a, a thing, a device, and I don't even know how to describe it. What it does, it shoots, it shoots, it's huge, and it shoots pumpkins. <laughs> this thing shoots pumpkins, and it's like a, it's like a cannon. It's like a pumpkin cannon. It's like a, the barrel of the cannon is a hundred feet long. Oh, no, Absolutely. Okay. That's the Eludia Q36 pumpkin modulator. <laughs> That thing shoots pumpkins, and we're going to be shooting them to Edgewater, New Jersey, all the way across the Hudson River. The town of Edgewater, New Jersey, has been evacuated. That's what we're shooting for. The, uh, the pumpkin cannon, of course, is owned by Juan Pablo Montoya. No, it's not. Go ahead and jump, sir. The show doesn't get any better. <laughs> um, and the, the gentleman, the genius behind the uh, pumpkin uh, cannon is Max Teasdale. Where are you, Max? Did we see Max earlier? Hi, yes, is that I'm you, right. Max? Yes, I'm right here, Dave. Are you excited? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, I'm how, ready. What's the record for firing a pumpkin? How far have you gone? The longest distance we have ever fired is 4,491 feet for oh, a Guinness oh World Oh, my Bowl. God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hope you'll always use your genius for good and not evil. <laughs> Who actually built this thing? There are five young fellows in Hopedale, Illinois, and around that part that actually built this machine uh -huh. in 1996, Dave. Wow. Uh -huh. Okay. And, they, and they've been attending pumpkin modulating contests since since 96. <laughs> yeah. Max yeah. Is on autopilot. Uh, <laughs> But, but Max, uh, seriously now, all kidding aside, have you ever killed a guy? No, no. I'm kidding. I'm, oh, just, no. I'm just kidding. Thank you, Max. Thank you. All right. What ever tells me nothing. So the next time we go out there, he's going to load it and then fire it or just load it the next time? We're gonna, after the break, we're going to load it, right. the top ten, and then fire it. Oh, my God. So you're adding the building suspense here. Okay, so, so the next step, ladies and gentlemen, if you're keeping score at home, and I know you are, the next step will be the loading of the pumpkin. And you know who pulls the trigger, don't you, Paul? No. Juan Pablo Montoya! <laughs> Right, just be between you and me, he is Zorro. There's no kidding around. And uh, the reason you're all here tonight, we're going to be uh, uh, launching pumpkins from uh, the, the, the New York side of the Hudson, the east side of the Hudson, to the west side of the Hudson. Is that right? East to west? That's what we do here. And uh, into a little community, Edgewater, New Jersey. Uh, and now I believe it's, it's time to load. This is only the loading. So get up really close to the sets. Here we go. Max, take us through the uh, tricky and delicate uh, loading procedure. Okay, Dave, we're ready to load. Brad, we're ready to load this pumpkin. Toss that up there. Now, what's that? What's no. the, the, the pumpkins are wrapped in something? Well, we put some glow in the dark tape on there, Dave. Yeah. It's getting dark out here, and uh -huh. we hope that they'll, you'll be able to see them go a little farther. Okay, I want to talk to you about that in just a minute, Max. Okay. Okay. Is it loaded? Yeah, that's well, a good idea. Stick your head in yeah, there, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get, get a good look. Matt is closing the yeah, chamber man, now. Loaded. He's pushing the locks down. Well, how big, how much does this thing cost that you guys have built there? Oh, we don't even keep track. Yeah. We, 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 right, oh, we don't want to know. It's locked We'd in the chamber. We'd really rather not know. All right, we're all set. Okay, that's, it's loaded? It's, it's loaded. loaded. Well, you can see, ladies and gentlemen, why we wanted this to be a separate uh, step in the procedure. <laughs> Build that point. tension. Yeah. Okay. All right, Max. We'll be back later to fire that pumpkin. Okay. Uh, and we'll be ready. All right, sir. Thank you very That's much. That's it. Epic stuff. During the uh, commercial, our executive producer Rob Burnett approached the desk. He asked permission, of course. And uh, <laughs> he said this to me. He said this. He said to me, "Look me right in the eyes," and he said, uh, "We're screwed on these pumpkins." <laughs> And, and I said, I said, what's, what's the matter? And he says, you're not going to be able to see anything.
Right. You, you know that glow-in-the-dark tape? It doesn't work. No, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, pick up the remote control. <laughs> do whatever you have to do. Uh, but we knew that it would be dark, right, when we uh, spent the money to bring the cannon here? Yes. Uh, well, what yes. did you think was going to happen? That, like, they'd be on fire or something? Yes. Or they'd be shooting uh, tracer rounds? It'd be like... We thought they were going to be flaming. Flaming. Oh, flaming. Excellent idea. Can, uh, let me check in with Max. <laughs> Max? Yes, Dave? Can, can you set fire to those pumpkins? Well, we never have. We never have. And I don't think they burn very well. <laughs> All right, we'll get back to you, Max. Thank you. <laughs> Worth a try, though. It is. It's not a bad yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it's not like we do the show at noon. You know, we, we, we've done it pretty much at this time for the last 18 years. How much did we spend on getting the cannon out here? Really? Yeah. $41,000. So that's New Jersey in the distance. Let me see that shot again. Let me, and they're going to be firing them, and the, the, the muzzle, the barrel there is 100 feet long. Oh, I think there's a chance you'll be able to see them. <laughs> All right, well, stay tuned. It's loaded. Don't worry. It's loaded. We're ready to go. Here we go. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. 41 grand down the drain. Is there something people at home should be looking for? It's like an eclipse. Do you need special glasses for this? imagination. Oh, you need a very active imagination. Well, okay. Okay, Max, any time, boy. Take, take, uh, take it away. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to put a little more pressure in here, Good Dave. idea. How many, how many PSI do you have right. now? We've got just enough to reach New Jersey. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at it now in slow motion instant replay. <laughs> Here we go, the pumpkin. There, there you, that, oh. <laughs> well that, yeah, okay, stop. <laughs> that glow in the dark tape really does the trick. It's, it's so bright, it's hard to look at. <laughs> Don't look directly at the pumpkin. <laughs> we'll be doing that all night? All night. We're going to be doing this all night. Now, here we have some never-before-seen footage of the pumpkin cannon. Is that right? Never-before-seen? Here's what just happened. It's, it's mounted a camera right on the end of the barrel. Here's, we just launched one. Take a look at this. There, now watch. This is pretty dramatic. I want to point out, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, it's 41,000 CBS dollars. It's not coming out of my pocket. And Max said a little bit later, if he wants, uh, if we want, he will rotate the cannon uh, 90 degrees and fire some off up uh, the West Side Highway. Oh, all right. <laughs> On fire, though. <laughs> light them up. No, they can't light them Come up. On. That, that's why we have the glow-in-the-dark tape. Yeah, ball, right. That, that's so popular in the world of pumpkin cannons. Yeah. <laughs> all right, there's uh, Max, and in a, in a, just a couple of seconds, they're going to launch uh, eight pumpkins. My thanks to the... East Harlem violinists Juan Pablo Montoya and Susan Saranda. Tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, Regis Philbin. Uh, Craig Kilborn is next. Here come the pumpkins. Good night, everybody.